Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn the five main short tricks of fractions. So let us see, the first one which I'm going to show you is the conversion. Conversion from an improper fraction to mixed fraction and mixed fraction to an improper fraction back. So let's see what's this. If you have suppose three two sevenths, this is a mixed number. Mixed number is actually a combination of a whole number and a fractional part. So whenever you have a mixed number, how do you convert it back to an improper fraction? That's the first. Okay. So we are going to go in a cyclic way. From the bottom, 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 2. So this is what we have to do. 7 times 3 plus 2 divided by whatever is your denominator will remain the same. That's 7. So you have 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 2 gives you 23 over 7. And that's your answer. This is how you convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay. Let's see one more example on this. For example, if you have um, 8 2 thirds. Let's take 8 2 thirds. All right. So in 8 2 thirds, we are just going to go again in a cyclic way. From the bottom you just multiply and the top one is being added so 3 times 8 that's just 3 times 8 plus 2 divided by what's your denominator that's 3 so it will remain the same now 8 times 3 is 24 24 plus 2 gives you 26 over 3 that's your answer that's how you converted a mixed number into an improper fraction all right let's see what is second conversion the second short trick is to convert back an improper fraction to a mixed number suppose you have 47 over 6 47 over 6 so mainly what what do we do is we apply a rule called okay we are just going to find out what's a mixed number for this one so we apply a qrd rule basically that's the quotient you have a remainder and you have a divisor this is how a mixed number looks like this is a whole number part this is a fractional part this is a quotient remainder over divisor so you check uh, 47 comes how many times in six times table so in six times if you see you see that it you get six times seven as 42 you could you don't get 47 so six times 7 gives you 42 so I'm just going to write that 7 that's our whole number part 6 times 7 is 42 now what are we going to do is you just find out the difference between 47 and 42 which you got 6 times 7 is 42 is that right 47 minus 42 gives you a remainder of 5 7 minus 2 is 5 so that's your remainder part 5 and your divisor is always same that's the denominator 6 see I think you have done the calculations in mind that's good no need to divide the other way the other way round is you just divide it 6 47 and you take 6 times 7 is 42 and you have a remainder of 5 that's how you do it this is your remainder this is your quotient this is your divisor so actually if you see in the six times if you're getting 47 or a number lesser than 47 you can write it down as a whole number part and then what's what's the difference between them gives you the remainder and the divisor <clears throat> okay let's, let's see one more example on this <clears throat> for example if you have 21 over 5 21 over 5 okay now we need to convert it back to a mixed number so let's see in five times table do we get 21 we know so a number lesser than that yes 20 five times four gives us 20 so we have five times four that gives us 20 is that right yes so four is our whole number part let's subtract find the difference between both of them 21 minus 20 is just one so i'm going to write the remainder one here and what's my divisor that's the denominator same denominator five so i got my mixed number done 
what did I just do? I just check if 21 comes in 5 times table. Otherwise, a number lesser than that. So, it comes 20. 5 times 4 is 20. And then I have written 4 as the whole number part. That means you have 4 holes. What does this 4 holes represent? That means it have 5 over 5 plus 5 over 5 plus 5 over 5 plus 5 over 5 4 times. Plus you have 1 over 5. This is what it represents. 4 holes. This is 1 hole. This is another hole. This is another hole. This is another hole plus one fifth so you have four one fifths four one fifths that's what it represents okay now this was the second shortcut trick which i wanted to show you you can do it mentally in mind let's see the third one <clears throat> now the third goes to actually the conversions where for this is the second short trick First one was for conversions. Now second goes for additions of fractions. Suppose you have 3 fifths plus 4 sevenths. Now when you have unlike denominators, you usually find LCDs, the least common denominator. But here, no need to find the least common denominator. We are just going to use a butterfly method. That's called as butterfly. Now you'll say, how does it form a butterfly? Let's let's see. I'm going to write this question back here. 3 fifths plus 4 sevenths. Now I'm just going to draw the cross bubbles. The first number of the first fraction, second number of the second fraction, multiply them together. 3 times 7 is 21. All right. Next is, I'm going to multiply the second numbers, which are left. 5 times 4 gives me 20. Now just add them up. 21 plus 20 is going to give me 41 over 5 times 7. Just multiply the bottom numbers. 5 times 7 is 35. That's your answer. Now, you will say this This is a butterfly wing. This is a butterfly wing. So, this is actually called as a butterfly method. So, this is very easy to do without taking out your LCDs. Okay, let's try another one. Now, that's called as subtraction say uh, that's that's the third short trick now when you have 7 over 8 minus 2 over 9 so again what are you going to do you're just going to cross make a cross bubble that's just the cross multiplication what we're going to do so 7 times 9 is 63 7 times 9 is 63 and then we are just going to do cross multiply 8 times 2 is 16 negative sign so we have 16 and just multiply the bottom numbers 8 times 9 is 72 so you have 63 minus 16 as 47 over 72 that's your answer done okay let's see another one so our fourth short trick so we have our fourth short trick that's okay i'm going to show you one more example for that one 9 over 12 plus 20 over 12 minus 42 over 12. okay that's that's the question now you have all the denominators same so just add or subtract the numerators 9 plus 20 is 29 so we have 29 minus 42 over 12. this is how when you add when you have like denominators so that gives you negative 13 over 12. Okay, let's see another example. How do you multiply the fractions? 3 over 5 times 7 over 2. So just multiply the numerators again. 3 times 7 is 21. And 5 times 2 is 10. And you're done. 21 over 10, that's your answer. Okay the last and the final short trick which i'm going to show you in this one the fifth one is division suppose you have four thirds divided by nine fifths so just use the rule kfc or in this also when we either you can use kfc that's called as keep flip change keep the first fraction <coughs> flip the last fraction 
change the signs of division to multiplication and you're done multiplication is easy 4 times 5 is 20 3 times 9 is 27 so you have the answer with you 20 over 27 all right so if okay let's see one more example on this 8 times 8 over 5 divided by 12 over 7 now i don't want to use kfc so what's the other method which i can use is just cross multiply 8 times 7 8 times 7 is 56 12 times 5 is 60 so you have your answer here okay that's that's how you do it with butterfly method that's how you do it with kfc method kfc is just keep flip change keep the first fraction flip the second fraction change the signs of division to multiplication and you're done okay now that's it for today thank you so much for joining take care bye bye